Welcome guys, and in today's video, we're gonna be checking out a new machine, the Bishop One Packer. So let's go. Let's get into it. This is the box. This is how I got it. Uh, I've already opened it. I've already tattooed a tiny bit with it, just a little bit. So I'm looking forward to doing a little bit of that here with you guys in this video, but let's take a look at it. Now, as far as packaging everything goes, it's just like the Bishop one shader. Everything is the same. It comes out the same way, opens the same way. You have the same pamphlet. You have the same cards. Don't mind my voice. I had a good weekend, a lot of yelling and jeeping and just good old time, but my voice is taking the beating of it. So here we go. We have the same packaging. You know, I like this packaging. I like this, uh, this little carrying case here. Very nice. Open it up. There is our machine and it always surprises me just how little these little guys are. But nonetheless, that's our machine. And here is the same uh, clip cord. I love these clip cords. These are like solid clip cords. So if you're not running a power uh, battery supply like I do, they're hooking you up with a solid clip cord. And again, it comes with the grease as well. Now, real quick, we will take this thing apart. I'll let you guys take a look at what's inside of it. Just like with the shader, it's gonna come apart the same way. Grip comes off and you unscrew the top very carefully and pull it up out. As you can see, there's a little bit of grease here as per the manual says. And um, there is our motor. It's a little bit different looking, a little bit. And I'm sure that's because it is a different motor. To put it back in, you're gonna do the same thing in reverse. Take your time, be careful, make sure you line that hole up with the little push rod right here. And the reason why I decided to go with the Bishop One Packer is, as you know, I have the shader and I really like this machine. With any machine you get, it's going to be different more likely than the machine you just had. So it's gonna take a little bit of time to get comfortable with it. And with this machine, I got comfortable and I feel really good with it. So I definitely wanted to just maintain this for shading. But for lining, I had to put a little more effort into things, especially when packing or pushing larger needles. So I looked into either the packer or the liner, and I thought for me, this would be the best all around. Packing in color, great. For lining, I assume would be good as well. With a 4.2 millimeter stroke, not bad compared to the 3.5 millimeter stroke here. The, some other differences between the two, and I'm not trying to make this a comparison video, but it's important if you're following my channel that you understand why I'm buying these and the differences between them. So with the shader, they say it has give and all this stuff. Uh, I really don't think it necessarily has give. The thing with the shader is it has a different motor. This is a brushed motor. So that brushed motor is gonna have a little bit less efficiency but it was designed that way with a purpose and specific windings in it. Motor is designed for shading. It's designed to give you some, some uh, you know, resistance, if you will. So I needed something more apt for lining and packing color. So again, that's why I went with this. Let's get a battery pack on there. Let's get a needle in and see how it sounds. All right, here is the machine. This is running at six volts and it can go all the way up to eight volts. So let's crank it up. Seven sounds pretty smooth. She's cooking, but it sounds smooth. Eight volts, 7.56. I don't know if you can hear that, but if you're here, she's trucking. Okay, enough with the sound effects. I'm gonna turn this back down. Oh, wrong way. Let's turn it back down. Now six volts sounds really kind of slow, but we'll figure that out later. It doesn't feel heavy, just like the other machine. It's very comfortable, I like it. I can't say enough things about the feel, the fit, everything about it I do like. And that's because it's just like the shader as far as looks and feel and all that stuff goes. And again, that's why I went with it. If I like the shader, I sure hope I like their other product as well. So enough of me running my mouth about this stuff. Let me wrap this thing up get my leg ready and let's run some lines, pack a little color and together see how it performs. So there you can see ink in the tube and you can see about how much needle I have thrown out for now. I may adjust this depending on how it goes, but that's where we're gonna start. Right, 
yeah, that felt pretty decent. Uh, not bad, not bad. I like it. And this is at six volts. Pretty surprised. bad you see a little bit of a line weight difference here and that's that's user error that's me not keeping a consistent angle there but for just messing around here that is not too bad we're gonna bump it up from six to six point five I'm gonna run another line just just maybe around this a little bit and see how that goes Not bad it's a little thinner and I think that again is user error just not digging it right down in there where I need to and that's 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 why I'm testing these things out a little bit oh that feels good yeah okay not bad Okay, a little thin not bad though pretty consistent I do like it it takes far less effort to get those uh, those lines in there and that's the key here is this is an 11 round liner and with very little effort and at a pretty low voltage but again this machine set up to run at a lower voltage so let me do that again maybe just right here in the middle doing it just effortlessly at 6.5 volts. Next we have the curved mag. This is a 15 curved mag. You see about how much needle's thrown out. And again, that may be adjusted as well. But we're just gonna come over here and pick a little spot in this flower here and just give it some red. Oh yeah. Okay, well, that took like no effort. That was nice. I, um, I enjoyed that. <laughs> wow. Okay, lining, definitely like it for that. Packing color, that 4.2 millimeter stroke, killing it. Killing it. I mean, that was, that was effortless. Effortless. So. The packer, let's pack a little more. Let's fill in this spot over here and just kind of keep going, see what we think. I'm really liking 6.5 volts. I'm liking 6.5 volts for really lining and packing color. Man, 
don't get it twisted. This this hurts. I mean, it's not a walk in the park over here, but it is putting it in in a very quick manner. Single pass almost taking taking that in and just packing it right in there. Heck freaking yeah. And again, you can kind of smooth this out a little bit and keep going. But that is killing it, guys. And again, that is at 6.5 volts with a 15 mag. Really impressed with its packing power. So let's take this up to the top. Let's talk about it a little bit more. All right, we're back up top. Now, I have to say, I'm sorry for blinding you guys with the pearly white leg over there, but I hope that we were able to see something and maybe figure out if it's for us or not. But nonetheless, as I showed you guys, you can line pack color I didn't shade with it, but I guarantee you can shade with this machine. Guarantee it. Guarantee it. Now, this machine over here, the shader, you can, I showed you, you can line with it, you can pack color with it, and you can shade with it. So if you can do all three with this and all three with this, why buy both? Well, I'm telling you, they do different things. You can line, shade, and pack color with just about any machine if you know what you're doing. But some just do it better than others. So I like this for shading more than I like it for packing more than I like it for lining so far I really like this for packing color who'd have who'd, who'd, who'd have thunked it right the packer but it did a really phenomenal job in my opinion putting that color in lining great job as well I'm just gonna need a little bit more time behind the machine that's it you're gonna you have to fine-tune you as the person and the machine and figure out really what works for you now I know some of you knew I was looking to pick this machine up and you told me hey guy you can get the cam 4.2 millimeter cam for this machine well maybe not for this machine but it'll work in this machine and you can uh you know have the best of both worlds now the only concern there and i, I bet you will get something in between the two of these but the motor in this again is different from the motor in this this has a little bit more power a little more torque to throw that longer throw i think that's how it works throw that longer whatever so just keep that in mind if you're thinking about maybe putting a different cam in this one or maybe a different cam in this one. Uh, this is a brushed motor, a brushless motor. Two different motors for two different machines to do two different things specifically. And again, guys, really up to this point when it comes to the Bishop Juan lineup and what I've used, my biggest complaint and the only complaint I really have um, is this is this uh this smooth rolling bit right here it just there's a little bit of slop there and as you use it or as i move around and fiddle with it i guess i'm not sure what exactly is causing it but it's moving it's rotating just a little bit here and there and i will notice it because things aren't doing what they should do and i'll check the needles oops yep i need to throw those out a little bit further again so anyhow it's not big enough of a deal to make me go, I'm done, I'm not playing with them anymore. I love these machines. I specifically love this one. Again, more time behind it. I hope to love this one as well. So far, so good. Well, I hope I didn't bore you to death. I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe you learned something. Maybe you think I'm crazy. Either way, doesn't matter. I thank you so much for getting to the end of the video. I appreciate you taking the time to watch. And again, if you enjoyed it, give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already and go ahead and ring that bell if you want to get notifications when I post. Appreciate you guys. And until next time, peace.